Well, let me show you the steps to creating a live pack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make a live pack out of a drum rack preset because I know it's a bit more difficult to create a live pack that actually embeds samples and all that in with it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now you can put as many uh, live packs, I mean as many kits as you want into one live pack. We're just going to do one just to show you how to do it, just to make it quicker. But if I wanted to, I could take all of these and, and make it into a live pack. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're in a a new song file. So just simply go to new live set. Just like that. And now what you'll notice is down at the bottom here, you'll see a folder that's created called Current Project. And that's the same thing for every instrument. You'll find it under Analog, Synth, and all the others as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the preset here and drag it into that folder. And then just give it a little time to copy the files. All right, there we are. There's our preset that we want to make a live pack out of. Now we're going to go to File, Save As. We're going to go ahead and name the song now. And I'll just uh, pop it here on the desktop. And we'll call it uh, Drums Live Pack 1. We'll save that. And now we'll go to collect all and save. And we'll make sure all these say yes. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click. Oops. No, I'm actually going to go here to manage files, manage project, and then here as you can see in the external files area, you're going to want to hit yes on anything that mentions collect into project. You don't want to miss anything, so let's go ahead and do that. You may find less or more in your project. Uh, just say yes to anything that says that. And then come down and hit collect and save. All right, it says it was successful. Make sure we still have it in here, and we do. We're going to go back into Manage Project now. And in this packing area, mine's already open, but yours might be closed like this. Let's go ahead and open that up and click here, Create Live Pack. It's going to want to know where you want to save it. And I will save it on the desktop in a new folder. So. I'll just call this 1000 uh, drum kit live pack one. Excellent. And there we go. It was successfully created and if we come over here here's our correct folder and there is our live pack 
Okay, so that's how you create a live pack. Let's get into how you extract it and pop it back into your Ableton presets. So if someone gives you a live pack, this is going to going to be the way that you access it and install it into your presets. First, you're going to want to go to install live pack. Find your live pack. This is mine right here. Open file. Find a place to temporarily store the, the file. Let's go back on my desktop, which is getting a little bit messier, but I'll just put uh, live pack temp folder. and pop it in there. Okay, so now it's extracted that live file, live pack file. We're going to go ahead and find it on our desktop. And let's see here. Live pack temp folder. And here's our file here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this folder and I'm going to hit manage project. All right. And then it's going to bring this window up here. And you're just going to go down here. It says export to library. Go ahead and click on that arrow and then hit export. And what this, this is doing is saving all the samples into your Ableton library so that it's always going to be there for you. And then when you go to Drum Rack Instruments, you'll find it in your presets as we find it right here.